So, double dumbass with a triple dumbass somersault and spike in the landing of a half a twist. Triple dumbass on me. I have found a way to take three months of material that I had been pulling together and recording and everything else. I found a way to transfer it to a solid state hard drive just to immediately erase it from that hard drive along with the original. And I was stone cold sober, mind you. I cannot believe the mighty strength of stupidity I just smote myself with. As I was going to start having a schedule putting something out every day, that way I could upload a couple of days worth of videos, set them to go live at the right times, and I could spend time recording more videos and editing them up and having a, yeah, a proper chain so I could start having a five to seven day production schedule and, you know, only working generally on the weekdays so that I could have my weekends to spend with my girl and then all I'd have to do is auto set up to programs, shorts, 20-minute shorts, 10-minute shorts, 8-minute shorts, whatever I ended up posting, would just be up for that day when it was popped out, you know, ding, and now everybody can see it. goes live when the timer goes off. <clears throat> and I would love that, because I would love to have a... 5 a.m., you know, it hits the internet between 5 and 6 a.m. People have the whole day to watch it, hopefully. You know, they have, if they're working late nights, they can watch it in the morning. If they're working uh, super late uh, during the day, they can, you know, they've got to be into work at 9. They have from, you know, at least 6 to 9 to be able to catch my material. I was so getting ready for that kind of production schedule. And I just took all the last three months of recordings. Threw them out. I asked myself why. And if I was really in that kind of way, I would be on my knees. Why? Because it just... There are days where I know... My brain is not my own. It's disconnected. There's only a couple of little pieces beyond the lizard brain. And I make some jackass stupid decision. I don't know how I survive those days. I really don't. Because dear goodness I do hurt to myself. So this is my message to me, to you, through me, to look back at me, to remind myself that sometimes I have to hear a popping sound in the morning, get my head out of my ass. I just cannot believe I did that to myself, though. That was so painfully hurtful to myself. And I just am so non-believing that it was possible for me to be that stupid. But I proved that without a doubt that I can be that stupid. I'm not always that stupid because I had a three month stockpile of footage that I had recorded that I could have started putting together, you know, nice length, you know, perfectly cut up programs with some effects and you know sound and yada yada whatever <sighs> and I crumpled up in a ball and I tossed it in the circular file and <laughs> swish nothing but basket <sighs> I can't believe I screwed myself that hard but anyway so this is my apology for not posting on a schedule. I was going to have a schedule ready to uh, to run and 
lo and behold, I just threw it out. So, the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be trying to record prodigious amounts of stuff and uh, edit it together so that vlogs are not the only thing on my channel. Because right now, I've been doing a hell of a lot more vlogs than I've been of putting up Let's Plays. And this is a gaming channel. You know, I will be putting up a vlog channel as well as a gaming channel for my girlfriend's grandson. He's going to be doing his own uh, thing because he's an eight-year-old, and man, he's got some decent skills, actually. You know, he may not be pro yet, but he's only eight. He's got time to learn. And if he locks horns with some of the really good pros, I know he's going to get frustrated into advancing his skill. You know, that's what I keep telling me. You're not te your skills are not tested by below mediocre playing. Because when you got people that are just skating through the game, the you know, really high deaths, really low on the kills, those people, and unfortunately, since I've had six strokes, I had one of them myself. Now, yeah, I I'll play a game for the enjoyment of it, knowing that uh, I am going to end up frustrated, almost to the point of wanting to rage quit. I mean, I was playing Hawkin this morning against a guy, uh, A underscore C E was his, uh, it was all capital letters. So ACE, but you know, he had an underscore in there between the A and the C. And man, did that person like, like almost caused me an aneurysm this morning when he was racking up kill after kill and sometimes well, actually several times in his 15 kill run that made it all the way to the end that 15 kill run was amazing just blasted amazing and I think I had more than three deaths in that game against him. Oh, was it frustrating to a core. I asked him if he was a freaking developer. Because, you know, only generally the developers have, like, the uber skill with the game. Why? Because they've played it since its infancy. They've, you know, formed it up. They know the, uh, and understand the, the tomfoolery they can pull off and still stay in the rules. And, you know, that is a, it's a straight up assessment. I think it's just the fact that, you know, no matter how much you, uh, no matter how much you try, you, you know, sometimes you go against people that just got mad at <laughs> skills. And I've hit a couple of those. Well, this is going to be one of my in-one-take nine-minute videos. It's 8.34 when I looked up at the clock. So I'm going to call it this and say, hey, peace out to my luminaries and mysterians. You know who you are. And I will talk to you all another day. Peace out.